Yeah. Are you guys ready? Everyone's ready. Trash Panda Four Are opens you... ready. Sure. All right, make sure these runners are ready. Give them the, the old lifeline. And uh, here we go. We're going to go right now. Three, two, one, go. Whee! Why Why didn't the video start immediately? Why? Why? What? What's wrong with these timers? All right. Why are the timers not sync? Um, all right. So Trash Panda and Fropen both doing the patented pipe rub. That's some good stuff right there. These men understand how important it is to not die in this level. And you love to see that. So yeah, a little little hiccup at the end for Trash Panda, you know, and that uh that pipe. Getting squeezed in between that uh that gap in the pipe can be a little rough sometimes, but uh, he makes it through. Um, for open looks like he's gonna get the early piece speed here and jumping off of the Paragoomba, which is the correct way of doing this, which I don't do because I learned it a bad way because someone had it in their Warpless Seminar the incorrect way. Anyway, both making a 1-2 there. Good stuff. Alright, and now one of the scarier levels kind of in in the uh, first few worlds here, the, the Fortress in World 1. Not, not super easy there, both getting the leaf grab, so uh, what you like to see... Um, from both runners there. Did Furrowpen, he must have done the jump over the waffle. That's insane. Anyway. We get our first opportunity for a point here. Both runners pretty synced up here. There's about a two second difference between them in reality, but uh, Trash Panda, first on the board, strikes first blood, getting the tunnel. It's good stuff. And uh, we'll have another opportunity here coming up for uh, point potential. Although they don't get it right away, you kind of bank the point and, uh, you know, don't forget it later, you know. What do you think his heart rate is right now? You never expect to get it. The tunnel? Yeah. Uh, what? We'll find out. We'll see how well he does this level. You know, if... Uh, He's starting to panic. Oh, no, I got up. a point. <laughs> oh, uh, these jumps may be a little... Pan oh, what? Okay, that was an interesting way of doing it. Hey, it worked. So you know what? Hey, we take those. So yeah, it looked uh, looked pretty smooth there from him. He fought the bro early, so um, that's why there's a little bit of difference between the two in terms of where they were lined up. But uh, let's see if up oh, Toad being stingy with the the leaf on the trash pan aside, but for open, hey, who needs to hit the tunnel when you can just have good RNG? You know, you, you, you can't beat good RNG unless you play bad or unless the person with good RNG plays bad. Then you can beat it. But like if they play well, you get good RNG. Yeah, there was an interesting it. race today where one run, it was like you get an RNG, getting lots of points, kind of not getting the skill points. And then the other race, it's like not getting the RNG, but was getting the skill points uh, back and forth. Yeah, sometimes that uh, happens, right? You know, you get a little extra pressure when you get the RNG points to get more points because you know, you're like, hey, I can put some distance between me and the opponent. But, uh, you know, when you need the skill points sometimes in the next race, you're like, eh, I got to get it. And then you just do it. So can be can be a little bit different mentality there. See how uh, Larry is for the two. I mean, Trash Panda just doesn't care. Just stood there. That one shot whizzing right by his head. A little bit of a slow kill there from him, but uh, pretty good cleanup. So, both getting the uh, <coughs> World 1 fire kill. I don't recall seeing throne jumps. 
Although I'm really bad at remembering to check for those. So that doesn't necessarily mean anything. It's okay. I got you. Points guy is on it. Some I'm just some random dude who showed up. Points guy here. Nice. What's up, random dude who just showed up? Anyway, on the 2 1 here, using these jumping blocks to their advantage, Trash Panda doing the top tier 2 1 right there. Killing those jumping blocks, reducing lag frames. This man understands the importance of frames, okay? You'll love to see it. All right. Both are gonna make the way back to this end card game, try to get their, uh, their money here. Propen gonna pick up some extra stars, which he'll need for later, and gets his 10 bucks there, so that's a point. Um, Trash Panda having a little more trouble with this card. Well, looks like Feropen's actually gonna clear this out, which is interesting. I've seen a lot of people do this. So both getting the 10 bucks here. So, good stuff. Won't have to worry about it later. Um, and Trash Panda getting out of the card a little earlier, so... And... Uh, 2-2, what a great level, wow. So much P-Speed, very exciting, so fast, so interesting, great level design. Anyway, back to a good level, 2-4 uh, here, and for open, doing the turn back at the beginning to get early P-Speed there, interesting. Take on that, a little bit of a sacrifice to ensure gets the early P-Speed. Uh, Trash Panda doing the, the bop there that uh, I see Rupert do all the time to get the early P speed. Does just barely get it before he gets to the pipe, so that was good. Ooh, he does a rub there, but gets it back. We're open cleaning up. Bam Bam. He, his reign of terror has ended in World 2. For open going right towards that music box and does go backwards. So, got an opportunity here for another point, guys. Just needs one more fitty fitty. Uh, both runners moving in the two, three here. We're gonna see some red rocket action coming out. Oh, uh, can he get the piece speed back? I think he will, he gets it back. So, technically a rocket here if he can keep it. Oh, he doesn't do the turn back there, so. Unfortunate. So for open, getting the point there, Trash Panda losing out on another point opportunity. Um, unfortunate. So yeah, it's six to six right now, but uh, for open's got the lead and he's got that leaf in his back pocket. So free point there as long as he remembers it. And the snooze level. Nice sun level. Oh, Trash Panda doing the uh, Season 2 strats here, I see. Alright, fair enough. That sun uh, is no longer there. Don't ask how it's still light out, but... It's a little scary there in 2-4 for, for open. That's an interesting way of doing this. It makes it out and... Oh, Trash Panda! Uh, getting the fireball blocked at the end of the platform and making things worse. The bro move forward. So he's losing out on that one as well. Now his shot at 2-4 here. Definitely going cleaner than for opens did. Uh, a little bit. But uh, for open having a very nice pyramid here. Looking good. And we'll get the opportunity, or he'll get the opportunity to see whether or not he's getting a point here from the uh, Hammer Bros, or whether the second bro is gonna gonna block him. And uh, there it is. No points for either runner for the Bros in World 2. So. But neither runner went into the pit, and uh, 
Veropen was the only one that cleaned up a point there with the Red Rocket, so not a huge gap between the two in either time or points here. And uh, Veropen onto the airship. Um, this is going to get a little bit of a different uh, Morton pattern here, but um, as is TP since you'll have to pick up the Fireflower on the ship, but if they understand their boss math and they've been doing their research, both can fire kill Morton here. So we'll see uh, we'll see if they did the math. Or if they're willing to risk it, because I mean, you know, it is Morton. He's known to kind of be a, a jerk, so. Yeah, we got uh, got some beautiful cannons here, you know, just so efficient there, putting so many cannons in one spot that uh, half of them don't fire. Uh, definitely highly efficient placement coming out from Bowser and his military. Open did the math and does get the kill. Meanwhile, TP lets a bullet just hit him right in the back end there. Um, I think he was confused for some reason, so maybe a little bit of race jitters getting to him. Who knows? But uh, unfortunate there. Not a big deal, though. He'll be able to pick up fire in the next level easily, so if he wasn't going to fire kill this guy, not too big of a time loss anyway, so... I love that uh, that King's mustache, by the way. It's, it's immaculate. Um, anyway, moving on to the easiest level in the entire game. 3-1 right here. I mean, look at this thing. You swim, you jump. You get P-Speed, you jump, you swim, you enter a pipe. That's the level. That's That's the entire level. I assure you, within five minutes of practicing yourself, you can do that level optimally. All right. For open, going for 3-2-P speed here. Shooting a fireball in the air for no apparent reason, but maybe trying to scare the, uh, oh, I see. I think he was trying to take out the cheap cheap down below. Okay. Interesting. Does get it. Makes it out of 3-2, which is, you know, a level that uh, gives people a lot of problems. It is also worth noting he hasn't lost his Fire Flower yet, so he does have the potential for the World 2 and 3 Flower Keep point. Um, whereas TP has lost that opportunity. Ooh! While I say that, going in the drink there, almost getting eaten twice... This is not the level that you want to get out of your rhythm. It gets very awkward. You got the boss bass there. It's got the vertical scroll. Not a great level to, to have what happened there, but uh, he does a nice job of not panicking and uh, making it out of there. So. And we'll get to see potential door four attempts here, which is the worst point. Open not getting it. Mitch is like, you know, I can't come up with a point worse than door three, so let me do door four. <laughs> He's probably cringing right now. <laughs> Teeks is like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Door 4 is free, you know? Don't be a noob. Use a metronome, etc. And to that, I say, nobody cares about your metronome, Teeks. All right? Uh, meanwhile, for open, cleaning up 3-4 here. So still got his flower. Um, getting close to the end of World 3 here. Um... He does skip that the uh, the hammer bros here because he doesn't want to pick up that inventory star. I think it's a really good decision. He's going to opt to play the fortress in World Four instead, um, which 
which I think is kind of the, the best decision here. And TP had already taken damage, so taking damage there, not a big deal. Has a lot of fire flowers in his inventory, can get another easy one in this level. So he's he's gonna be fine. Um, doing the uh, the slide strats here, we'll get his P speed back and we get to see, this is the best backup flower in the game, in my opinion. That thing, look at how smooth that thing is. That's like butter right there. That's like butter. Meanwhile, for open moving so dang fast, I didn't even see him play 3-8. That's incredible. Gets the H up as well. So, I mean, he's killing it right now. What can I say? Meanwhile, we get to see Trash Panda Tangle with 3-8 here. So, at least I get to see this level once, you know. Another, another one of these great levels where you don't get really any P-Speed in till the end, so. Uh, Fropen making his way to the airship here on a pretty good pace. Yeah, he's uh, he's sub-1630 pace out of World 3, and that's, uh, that's pretty solid for a points run, I think. So you gotta do some extra stuff and, that you normally wouldn't do, like the end card and, and grab them, you know, Mushroom House World 1 and, and things of that nature. And, Oh, the extra bro in World 2 as well. Meanwhile, TP landed on that music note. The music note of Doom, man. That thing just... It takes your height. It says, you can't jump over this H. If you touch me, you're not jumping over the H. So, just doesn't like being touched. So, for open is about 40 seconds away from getting himself another point here. Getting pretty dang close. While Trash Panda just entering the airship here, so... Most of an airship difference between the two right now. Um, not totally unexpected in this one uh, for Open having, you know, significantly lower time, but... You know, we're, we're in the points tournament, baby. The, the times, they matter, but they don't... They're not everything, okay? But uh, that point he just picked up, that matters. That's good stuff. So he is picking up that point from World 3 and 2 by keeping the fire. And uh, after picking up that point, he gets an immediate opportunity for his next point here with the lower P speed in 4 1. So we'll see uh, his take on on how to properly execute this one. Um, meanwhile, TP getting close to uh, his duel with Wendy. <laughs> for open going for some fast P-speed here. Doing some turn backs. All right, all right. I respect it. Looking good there. Securing himself some more points. So... <clears throat> you like to see it. And Trash Panda taking out Wendy, meanwhile, at the exact same time. Um, alright. So 4-2 here, getting the despawn on the plant, which is, again, not too tough of a strat to learn, you know. Once you know how to do it, not too bad, actually. But, uh... Cleans up that level very nice. Trash Panda in 4-1. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> I think we're going to see some Shell Strat action coming out here. Offer up and does 4-3. And yep, Shell Strat coming out. Gets the early P-Speed. Takes some damage there. Not, again, not too big of a deal. He's losing a little bit of time taking damage, but damage is... I... What Fropen just did there scared me. I don't... Alright. I don't know what I saw. I saw turnbacks and spiny kills and... Yeah. It worked. But I just... Alright. And now he gets his opportunity at the Fortress, which is... One of the toughest levels in the game to play. And uh, I think wisely using a star here as well. See? If he didn't use that star... You saw that flame get killed right at the end of the star. If he doesn't use that star, he takes damage. So, it's a heads-up play. 
uh, from a good runner right there to equip that, so. And now he gets to uh, have a shot at the double lack of two bounces here. Doesn't get P-Speed um, at the beginning of 4-4, four, four, so we'll have to modify a little bit what he's doing at the end here. Doesn't go for the second bounce. Maybe didn't feel comfortable with it or want to set up for that, which is very nice. So he got the, uh, the super duper swim. Um, jumped out of the water there, I think, on accident. Um, slowed him down a little bit, but uh, very cool to see that one. Don't get to see it very often, so... Trash Panda also being a smart man and uh, equipping the star. And, uh, see that? Now, I mean, alright. He took damage anyway, but, like, he would have taken damage earlier had he not had that star. Um... A little bit of a miscue there at the end, but uh, mostly really good fortress from him, too, actually. Um, meanwhile, for open... Oh, oh, oh. The ducks are getting scary. There we go. All right. Picking up another one there from 4-6. I don't think he missed the duck. I could be wrong. I don't think he did, though. Meanwhile... Um... Trash Panda taking the shameful bottom route here in 4-4. You hate seeing this when you have to swim all the way down there. Terribly slow, but also getting the super duper swim. Let's see. You know, that's that's just worth it right there. You know, that's worth the 8 to 10 seconds he has lost. Um, for open... Music box in the Hammer Bros here at the end of the world. And um, Trash Panda, does he know his bros? He knows his bros. He's actually got a good opportunity here for a boxless world. Yeah, and uh, he's also going to use the P-Wing Fly, which... Uh, all right, all right, running a little extra. Oh, no, he forgot the duck. Ah. Oh. Trying to be greedy, saving a little time running on platforms, so... Yeah, yeah I would have just stayed ducking the there, right? You have the P-Wing anyways. Yeah. I was just yep. taking the so, time cut. Ugh. That you hate to see. Um, not really sure why I decided to do that. It's probably a race where, you know, if I'm him, I, I don't think I'd expect to win this one on time. Just based on, <clears throat> you know, the PB of my opponent, but... Maybe he's concerned with finishing another an hour or something, so... I think he's in pretty good shape right now, so I'm not... Not too sure why I decided to go for that there. But, uh... It is what it is, so maybe he'll learn for the, the next race here. Um, so yeah. Furupin opening up a decent lead here. Going into the AFK airship. It's time for everybody to go AFK. Come back and... 10 years and this thing will still be going, so. Take a drink. That's right. Time to appreciate the majesty that is the slow speed of this airship. You might be thinking to yourself, I must be on drugs right now. This airship is moving real slow. Nah, that's just this airship. It just moves at that speed. You are perfectly sober. Probably. I mean, I guess I wasn't there, you know, with you all afternoon, but I'm going to assume that probably. If you're on drugs, I mean, hey, man, I, I said I wasn't there with you, so, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Probably would have made this airship a little more interesting, maybe, but... Anyway, moving on to World 5. We're gonna see some P-Wing equipping action here. You know, you can't lose fire in World 5 if you don't have fire. Pro tip. Pro tip, guys. You can't lose it if you don't have it. So. A 
That's a good way to not lose a point. But, you know, Furupin doesn't care. He's equipping the fire. He says, I will risk it all. Um, this is very interesting. So he has a different take on this strat. I think most people we've been seeing damage boost with the tail. So, be interested to see what he does here for the bottom section. Seems like a, kind of a risk here, having fire, but, uh... Oh, very cool. All right, dude, some turnbacks. Got it. And, uh... 283, I think? Oh! Denied. Denied, sir. And that right there is why you damage boost with the tail, my friends. All right? He could have learned the damage boost with the tail strat and then equipped the fire after the level because the fire didn't save him any time there. It only lost him time. So just... Just a thought. Just a thought. Because, you know... He can still get the time save here from fire killing this guy if he equips it after the level. And TP also equipping the P-Wing here. And uh, we'll see. Ooh, getting one movement of four there. So Two movements box. so far. Oh, he's gotten two. All right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Can't go in. But yeah. Very smart decision there to Music Box after the Fortress to give that one additional opportunity for a movement of four. So, very nice there. Uh, Trash Panda deciding the Music Box there. Not entirely sure why. Uh, I think he wants to trap the one bro there, maybe, to get another P-Wing, I guess. Um, otherwise, I'm not really sure why. Um, and he also doesn't opt to go the lower route here. That's one thing, guys. If you can't do a point, it doesn't really make sense to go for the point. Because you're probably just going to lose time or, you know, risk dying, etc. So, for open, just making that platform. So, picking up another point here in 5-4. Um... Yeah, TP hasn't equipped fire yet, so not getting punished for not having fire. We'll see how 5-5 five, five goes with the shared point here. Does get the early P-speed, so it's up to TP to uh, prevent his opponent from getting a point, which he doesn't know. But, uh, you know, if I'm him, I'm... I have a, a fairly good clue that my opponent's probably going to get that point, so definitely wants to get 5-5 five, five piece speed. I guess he just had some extra music boxes, so maybe a little bit of a strategic miscue there for getting about the movements of four points, so um, because he also he music box after the the, um, the fortress but he music box before 5-2, so um, he missed out on a movement there And no Jesus clip here. Just very disappointed, you know. Can't believe he wouldn't go for Jesus clip from this pace. Unbelievable. Disappointed. Very disappointed. Just the best strat in all of Mario 3. Totally worth it. Every time. Bro moves back to him, though. That, that is nice right there. That is pretty nice. The hammer bro. Um, it does look like he already had picked up the movements of four points, so... Again, going for the early P speed in 5-8 here. A little risky. Although I think it's less risky coming from a hammer bro versus a fortress. There's some weird stuff associated with that. And then TP... Is he getting a Tanuki suit? TP's getting a Tanuki suit. Alright. Look at this. This is not a power-up you see very often, so... Um... I believe he just denied his opponent the P-Speed there, too, because I think the decision was you have to get P-Speed before that block, which he did. So...
Very interesting strat here, coming out from TP. Still hasn't gotten fire, so again, not getting punished, and not gonna get fire till the airship, so... Um, uh-oh. It's got some jumping blocks in the way. Um, navigates that pretty well. He doesn't want to take damage here because he only gets one power up in the airship. So if he wants to get fire back, which he, he really does for the uh, fortress in World 6, that first one, um, then he definitely needs to keep this mushroom. Let's see here. Froppen working his way to the boss here, getting a nice 100% pattern there for Roy. Meanwhile, TP taking on the Bam Bam. I don't know why he's missing his club, but it seems like he is. Trash Panda apparently got a coin ship, so... And takes yeah, I a just, death. I just now saw that, that, yeah. That is an unfortunate turn of back-to-back -back events there. Um, still didn't have fire, though, so he won't get punished in additional points, so that death could have been really costly, but um, does equip his flower here, one of the extra ones he had. So he's got to keep this. Which should be, you know fairly straightforward at this point, but uh, we'll see if he's been, uh, you know, practicing the high ground strats on the boss. And for open, ooh, rubbing the block there. Recognizing that, hey, I probably shouldn't continue with this strat because I'm going to not make it, which uh, was a wise decision there, I think, for him. Um, ensuring that he survives, takes a little bit of time loss, but uh, makes it alive, which is important. And now, 6-4. Are we going to see some 6-4 P-Speed? I didn't pay attention to what his ha first hammer bro is on a fur open side, so... But he hasn't gotten... Ooh! Trash Panda taking damage, too, so... He's gonna end up losing another point there, unfortunately. I guess I talked too soon, you know. This airship's kind of treacherous. The, uh, the cannons are a little bit more strategically placed in this one compared to World 2. Let's see here. We're open getting the despawn in 6 5. And is going to be joined in World 6 by Dr. Trash Panda. So we got Upper Bros. Took some damage there, so he's going to have to get the leaf back in the fortress here. Uh, and it looks like, according to Mitch, he got lower bros, the first one, so... RNG's been pretty nice to throw up in here, in this run, so... It's allowed him to pick up a lot of points, and don't forget, guys, he's still got the leaf from World 1. But he just has to remember to equip. Meanwhile, we'll see what the, uh, the bros have in store for us on uh, Trash Panda's side. Uh, for open doing the duck there, which I hate to see in this level, because... Eventually, you're going to overjump there and end in that pit. Somebody die. actually died <laughs> earlier in the week in a race from the duck jump. Ooh. See, guys, no duck jumps there. You don't need to do it. And Trash Panda, not realizing this isn't World 4, so he's not going to get points for that. Um, uh, meanwhile, Froppen looks like did remember to equip the tail. So, picking up another point. Get his opportunity at the wall jump next. So he's got to get that bad boy first try. 
And it is a shared point, so... Trash Panda can get it first try. He can prevent it, so... Doing the, uh... The little manipulation strat in the, uh... The pipe there. See if this one works out a little better for him than it did for Teeks, and, uh, it does, so... First try. Pressure's on D Dr. TP, even though he doesn't realize it. Using one of those many power-ups he has in his inventory from the card game here. This is going to allow him an opportunity to be able to go for the clip, which is the key. Um, that was interesting. Not really sure why he turned back there. Um, that's really only going to hurt you on clip attempts, potentially by uh, slowing you down. So, not uh, not entirely sure why he did that. Maybe it was a mistake. TP not getting the despawn there, so. He should have known based on the lag that he got in that section. It's actually kind of an indicator. So um, when you get to that portion of the level and you experience a lot of lag, that means it didn't despawn. So when you get the despawn, basically you'll get like a moment of lag and then it'll be like you break through. You know what I mean? It's like that. You guys remember that game when you were kids that uh, was a Thin Ice? You know what I'm talking about, Mitch, right? You remember Thin Ice? Yeah, uh, don't break the ice where you use the hammer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, and you... Thin Ice. Well, there's that too, but Thin Ice was like, you had this thin layer of ice in the game. And then when things broke through, that's when you lost, right? Oh, so... weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so ice, yeah, it's almost maybe. like that, right? Like... It's holding the thing up, holding the thing up, and then you break through. So, yeah, yep. that's, uh, that's how that, that despawn works. Yeah, pretty much. There's a lot of indicators there. But it takes a while to learn, I guess, where it's, like, second nature. Yep. Yep. <laughs> he needs All that right. cloud. He's getting gated by that cloud. He is. He is. Because he wants the no star. He needs, the... he needs that point, though, too, so... Mm -hmm. For the no he needs the point stars. more than he needs the cloud, That's unfortunately. Right. He needs to take the yeah, wall jump Peropen. away from Peropen as well. He does, um, which he's not going to. I, I believe he P-Wings this level, so Peropen's going to get a point here. Unless he takes damage here. Risking a little bit going for this. Um, no. I almost think he probably should have played the next level then scrolled back, but... Oh, gets lucky. So, very nice. Um, I don't recall, did he... I don't think he got the bros point, though. Um, uh-oh. So he's going for the thick boy. I think he actually clipped there, but it was in the wrong... What? Wow. Okay. This guy's actually a savage. <laughs> It's sad that he's giving up a point there, because in reality, we should give him, like, two for that. That's right, incredible. big Mario wall jump. Big, yeah, big Mario wall jump with no manipulation. That's, uh... That's pretty insane. I think on the first attempt, he clipped two, so he actually had two shots at it, which is absurd, but... Very cool. Not getting the clip there, you know... The game really should have should have worked out from there. Rewarded him for, you know, the thick boy jump. For open, having to take two sets of damage in seven two here because you know that flower at the end is a jerk. There's not much you can do about that. So the seven three gets a little scarier, and this is a punishment level. So, he does need that 293, guys. That little turn back there isn't going to cost him, so he's still in good shape. Oh, almost dying to the spiny there. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a mistake you'll make once, and, um, you know, you'll, you'll make sure it never happens again. 
I'm not sure it's ever happened to him, so maybe he uh, isn't aware of it, but yeah, you can actually, despite full jumping there, land directly on that spiny and die. <laughs> It only took me about 10,000 attempts of this game before that, you know, I hit that spiny. I was big Mario though, so I didn't die, but I learned. Meanwhile, let's see if he can get the, uh, the 183 here is in good shape to get it, so. Um, doing some nip strats, not... Sure. Interesting. I guess he's moving one pixel left and then doing a medium press. Um, let's see how it works out. Uh, he definitely had the right jump there, so he didn't have the right sub pixel. Oh, the timer in the fortress freezes when... Uh, Boom Boom dies, so he was fine. But he is not going to pick up the point there for the Eclip 7-6, so this is an opportunity for Dr. TB to pick up some points, which he really needs at this point. I didn't mean to say points that many times, so... Uh, getting was, confirmation, no bonks yet. What's that? I said it was glorious. <laughs> Very glorious. All the, all the points. And uh, TP with the correct jumps there, so getting rewarded after, I think, three tries, so pretty good. And still waiting to see if someone go for... Oh, never mind. Here it is, guys. Someone playing the fortress. My man right here. That's what I'm talking about. This guy knows how to go fast, all right? Hey, he, he might have made that slight mistake here, but you know what? This is faster than you guys going and playing 7-9 and trying to clip 10,000 times, all right? But I love watching people lose 45 seconds to clipping. And that wasn't even that bad. He cleaned up very nice, the great second room there, getting the Kobe on the boom boom. Although, kind of like a mini Kobe. Doesn't do the same Kobe, you know? But like, a mini Kobe. So yeah, for open seeing blood here, I would imagine that um, he must know he's on a pace that should be, should be sub 54. Um, or sub 54 potential. So, um, He's going for it all right here. Already picking up 18 points. Getting the no bumps, so... Um, very nice. You know... Fortunately for TP, um, you don't get punished for bad menuing. You only get punished for bumping, so... Taking his time with the, with the overworld movement. You know, don't blame him. Don't want to miss out on those, so... Unfortunate where he decided to jump there in the previous room, frame ruling him here, so he's not going to get the 183, but he can pick up the clip point. This would be the first sub-54 uh, in the tournament if he gets this. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I don't recall seeing one, um, but he's definitely on a solid pace to get it right here. Teek saying with two hands, which... Yeah, it seems seems about right. Um, yeah, being as we're on, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Um, being as we're on auto scroller land, essentially, if we could get someone to, to double back him for opens, he got throne jump for world one and two, but I don't think he got it for world three. So I didn't keep track for the rest because you know I thought he didn't get it. But if we could get a double check, uh, that'd be great. That would also play into like a, a huge, like 24 point <laughs> match. That's tough. Yeah. TP uh, playing 7 7 here. 
going for the clip. It's actually a pretty good attempt, believe it or not, but uh, this level's awful. That clip's awful. Um, he seven seven the muncher there though, yeah. but got bad sub pixel. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Not what you want a seven seven right there. I love how that clip My is man. called seven seven now. I know. He uh, two cycles though. That you love to see when I, when people play that level and they don't two cycle. I really question why they even play it. It happens. But, um, yeah, we got, you know, see, TP already getting punished here by deciding to play this, you know? Yeah, I think he's going for the, I know I'm losing and far behind, so I'm going to do all these things, right? Like when you got the Tanuki suit as well. However, it's going to reflect poorly if you get the above 60, right? I mean, that's just going to, uh, the loss and loss of yeah. points. And I can see him wanting to return to season four and season five. He seems like a, you know, uh... Dedicated Mario 3 runner, so. So, yeah, he hopefully... should be. He should have plenty of time here, so it's not really, you know, too concerning for his time, but. Uh, well, he got out of the clip game, so I'm happy. Time. I'm instantly happy. He got yeah. out of the clip game. Just get out of there. But he's definitely going to lose like 30 seconds versus his opponent from playing this, so. Again. Throw this level in the dumpster, guys. Or just play through it. Just play through it like it's a level, instead of clipping. No bumps from Trash, very nice. Picking up some more points there. So, you'd love to see it. So yeah, both runners on fantastic levels that are, uh, you know, very exciting. But uh, you got any? You got any commercials, Mitch? You know, any any sponsorships that uh, you need to hit here? Got plenty of time to do it. I got nothing, man. I got nothing. All this right. is auto scroller land. There's nothing we can do here. I mean, I can play an ad, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I mean, Froben's pretty close to getting the, the hands here. He is fairly close. Yeah, use your Twitch Primes, guys. There you go. There's my ad. Yeah, everyone use their Twitch Prime. It's free. There you go. Done. Yeah, and uh, the stream is sponsored by uh, Monster Energy. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stream is sponsored about, by uh... six cups of sugar. <laughs> What about half and half, or maybe, maybe, um, Mickey's Malt Liquor? I mean, whatever you guys are into, it's sponsored by that. Ooh, you don't want to be sponsored by that, dude. Okay, man, let's see. Yeah, if you want a world record in Warpless, you got to get to the hands at, like, 45 minute flat or something, right? Oh my gosh. Trash Panda with the high ground strats, dude. The high ground strats. He knows. That I love to see because it's definitely something I've talked about. And he did a coaching session with me, although it was a long time ago now, but. Yeah, for open looking pretty solid here. With the one hand, so. He actually has a little bit of wiggle room for the sub-54. So, believe it or not, if he doesn't get, you know, the first half of the 8182 combo point, he could just take the Sands. 
got plenty of time. And you know, there's someone out there that just loves seeing the sands. So. I don't know who that is. Drink my water. <laughs> That was obnoxious, sir. That's right. So is the Sands of Haxer. <laughs> the Sands of Champions. It's the Sands of someone won season one with them, so you can't say nothing. That's right. But uh, it's looking pretty good here. No bumps there. And, uh, yeah, very good. He's gonna be plenty of time here to the card. So, 289, getting the first leg there. So we will definitely be seeing a sand skip here. And Trash Pan, unfortunately, hopping right into the wrench. As I looked over. Um, but he can get that back in the next level. Which I think he knows how to do, actually. So, for open, getting the Sun Snipe... The hardest point in world or in season two right there. And picking up that point, so he's just, you know, hoarding these points. He's got his last opportunity. Ooh, what the heck? Getting in there without breaking the block. Very interesting. And he does get the conveyor P speed as well. Missing the door there, but uh, it's not keeping P speed through the door. It's conveyor P speed. And he got it. So that's 20 points. TP getting the tough fire grab here, I think, or did he equip it? Because yeah, I know he had a couple in his inventory too. that bomb up huh very interesting so i mean if you still think about it with trash panda minus the death and the coin ship right he'd have two additional points uh he didn't really get much of the rng point and lost his fire flower so seven eight nine ten he could have ten points right now which is half is still really good compared to what for open's doing and uh right like things like the the duck jump and the red rocket he would have 12 uh, those are pretty yeah. standard. So like he's he's in there. It's just these are the things that happen in runs when uh, you're not expecting it. It's you know most definitely reset in normal runs. So uh, you don't see these things unless mm -hmm. you do the full mm -hmm. the full runs and then figure out what happens from there. So yeah, it's uh it's a pretty rough go. I mean, Trash Panda is just just as good as anyone in this tournament when it comes to collecting the points. Just sometimes it doesn't happen, man. It's tough. Yeah, and uh, especially when your opponent is on pace that for opens on too, so. Mm -hmm. Makes it hard, um, right? He's going to have to eat the yep. uh, second place pill, right? So he loses the extra. Someone's got to lose, though, unfortunately, right? Someone's got to win, someone's got to lose. For open. He only had an additional, what, like 13 seconds for... Yeah, okay, he's good. Oh, uh, yeah, he's got plenty of time. Yeah, he's got plenty of time. Unless, no, nope, right, takes right. it out. So. And yeah, that will be a sub 54. So he's going to collect two additional points there to throw up 22. Not not the GOAT point toll because it's not 23. It's not Michael Jordan. Or actually, it's not LeBron James's number. Wow. First sub 24 and first 22 point in one game. Very nice for for open. And uh, we're going to watch Trash Panda. He has time to collect up some additional points. 
which is good. Trash Panda is, is actually done amazing. I think he's only been speedrunning this game not very long, and he's taken speed sessions, and... Um, yeah, man, he's been doing great. And see, if you look at that, 8-1 is a very tough level, and being able to throw it down like that is very good. So let's see if he gets the... Uh, let's see if he gets it here. Combo. Yeah, he had the one death. It was kind of a fluke death, though. It was mm -hmm. the 5-8 short hop. So... But, uh, you know, he's on <sighs> easy. Come easy on, get that piece speed back. Dude. He needs it's the, he close. needs the 91. He's got it. He's, he's got, got it. it. He's got it. He's Very got nice. It. Mm -hmm. Get trash pandas auto going. Damage boosting. Uh-oh. All right, all right. Waiting out the cycles there. Good stuff. Is that conveyor P speed? Looks good, I oh, think. Oh, too much ruled. of a hop there, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's got lots of time to get under the hour mark. Yeah, it's easily under it you have to die like twice in bowser's castle i think well, why you gotta throw that out there now it's now it can happen i mean it can always happen but it's not gonna nice and you know one of the good things about not winning in time is that you get your own little show time here, right? All eyes on Trash Panda. That's some good exposure. Very good stuff. Love to see it. Yep. You would expect him to be digging through a dumpster right now, but nah. He's on an auto scroll in World 8. His name is Dr. Trash Panda, so. Yeah, yo, I didn't know where he was. So that would have been the second wrench that got him this time. You know, watch out for those wrenchies. Yeah, those those hurt. You don't want to jump into those. You learn that the tough way, but uh... <clears throat> he was in fact on top of the tank. Yes. The final boom boom right there. Say goodbye. Let's go. Nice hammer suit. Didn't equip the warp whistle though. That is good. I have definitely been guilty. Of <gasps> He's got it. Oh, yeah, okay. nice. He's All made right, that mistake stuff, before. Stuff. Yeah, that's yep. good. Team uh, first step. Not a fan of that, but it worked. It worked. It worked. He didn't bump the ceiling, but he will inevitably. One day, yeah. He gets it back. <gasps> oh, man. He almost died right there. That was a pixel, dude. And then that would have been your fault, Haxer. Ah, uh, nah. He st st I said he had to die twice. He's still fine. But yeah, easy sub hour run. Easy. Easy. Boom. And just like that, Trash Panda gets the 58 11. Finishes up for open, gets the sub 54, getting the additional points. See, so yeah, that's a, it's a real tough hill to climb for him. Going in the race too. All right, let's give these runners that a five-minute break. Fine. We'll give Haxer a five-minute break. We'll give you guys five-minute break. Go get stretch and go get some chocolate or something.
Yeah. Now I'm gonna go get some mini eggs. Mini eggs. I just think that everyone is doing so well in this tournament. Everyone has been positive and everyone has been nice and there, there hasn't been any issues. And, you know, I just think that's... Whoa. What's going on here? That's why it got cut off. Oh. That's why it got cut off. Landmines. It was landmines. What, you want to fight, Crosby? Huh? Let's go right now. I bet. I bet. No, you don't get chocolate, bud. Not for you, no. You guys don't get chocolate. Yeah, all races have been amazing, exactly. I, I agree. I think they've been great. <laughs> they've all been great. For me to poop on! <laughs> <laughs> no, everyone wants to race. Everyone wants me to race the winner. I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't race the winner. I'll race... myself. Race the loser. I mean, it could. God damn, for open with a 22. Twice. What a trash panda have, guys. Seven, I think. Seven, yep. Versus Mitch? Nah, I wouldn't want to embarrass him. Yeah, right. You haven't played Mario 3 in like... God, I don't even know how long. Yeah. It's like yeah. riding a bike, man. Yeah, right. Hit me up with your D-Rust run. I've raced Haxer enough times, guys. You guys want some Mitch Haxer races? Go watch. No, no lifelines yet. Nope, neither runner has used one. I don't think Screw Ropen's gonna Mitch. use. He always he always gets lucky compared to me. It's uh -huh. bullshit. I go watch all my world ones in races. Yeah, those those are bad. Those are usually bad. Dude, last time we raced in Rando, he fucking got no hands. Like, what am I supposed to do there? Last time I raced, I got two hands, two extra. No, I, got, I think I got one hand, two extra Hammer Brothers. That was last week, I think. I co op points run.
a points run with or we're with uh seasons one through three points <laughs> right season four is just all season one two and three combined yeah screw that You like lose Fire Flower in World 2, you lose like seven points. <laughs> <laughs> right? If you had everything combined, like it would be so much. And don't forget, guys, season one was more cruel towards your deaths. If you died, you lost the reward for Deathless and you lost the point for dying. But I fixed that in season two moving on. Where if you die, your first death just loses you the deathless point, and then deaths after that, you lose you lose the deathless point. Just don't die, forehead. That's right. Twenty two is the new high score. That's right. But you know, I say that as a joke, but like, you should be playing these in a way where you're not dying because. Super Compromise seen, Bros. 3. Yep. I've seen a lot of the earlier runs by people that, you know, were just pretty much everyone's been close to sub out. Like, mm -hmm. I think everyone that made it over made it over in the last auto scroller. So the thing is, I think on all those runs, they took like multiple deaths. So not dying is really important for a lot of people. And if if you're one of those people, it should really be a focus for you to play in a way that is kind of low risk. Well, that's what the interesting thing about the points tournament. If you if you get sub sixty and you enter and you feel like you can't compete in terms of a lot of the skillful points, and they because it's a double edged sword, right? You fail the skillful point and you die. You don't get the skill point and you died because of doing it. So you're just down. So yep. you should change it up and try not to go for some of those hard points don't die and then bank on some of the rng points it's, that's totally a legit play in the tournament that's how i designed yeah. the points is that if you're not getting the skill points you might get lucky here and there and that's the way mario 3 has always worked and i was at, i i had i did an interview the other day and i explained how most often the world records for mario 3 are not the best runs that you've ever seen of the game not even close Right, but you don't see those best runs because they didn't get lucky enough for a time to be posted. That's the way Mario Three Pretty works. Much. That's very funny, Deep Nerf. Way to take it serious. All right, both runners are ready. Are you ready, Haxer? Is chat ready? Is everyone ready? Wait, wait, hold. No, I'm ready. No, he's ready. All right, on go from three. Let's go. Three, huh? One, go. Mm, trash pan is going to start yeah, with the audio. Mega Man 3, back. Isn't isn't that race too? Mega Man 3, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> Both runners keeping it the same here. Acts are confusing me. The first race. I'm trying to eat my candy. Oh, okay. You are a famous Mega Man 3 runner. I love Mega Man 3. All right. TP getting the early PSP this time, both hopping off of the pair Goomba there. So definitely both men are smart. Me dumb. Do you think we're going to see the same kind of game from For Open? And also, two part question, part two. Do you think Trash Panda is a little more relaxed? What do you uh, think? I mean. Yeah, probably. He probably doesn't have a lot of pressure, you know, in, in his situation. Um, he's down 15 points. You know, he knows his opponent has to make a significant number of mistakes um, at this point. As well as, you know, he has to make very few. So, 
Not that it's all the realm of possibility, but definitely probably just gonna try to put up his best showing. That's right. Ooh. For open already making a mistake there, not getting the leaf grab. I told you guys that one's tough, so. Um, Trash Pan again, an early lead here. Does not get the tunnel like he did in the first race, but uh, neither is for open, so taking damage there. The famous turtle. Oh, nice. I was going to say the famous turtle death. We've seen a couple runners take a death on that first turtle there. Because yeah, as, as Haxel was saying, down. and I've said before, I mean, if you mess up the fortress in World 1, you're, you're almost guaranteed to reset. Who's not going to reset, right, when you're doing attempts? Yeah. So you're not prepared to do one six small Mario. Man, he jumps really early. I wonder if he's got like a full jump spot or something there. Wow, the sink. <laughs> right. The, uh, the duck jump for luck there, but, uh, you know, Toad's stingy. Yeah. At least we got I, a one out of four today. I'm not sure about that duck jump. I'm not sure what that is. He did that last race, and he does get the throne jump, though. And Feropen is out of the throne jump game. Nobody goes for chest three. I'm team chest, middle chest. I'm, I don't know about you, Hacks, but I'm middle chest team for sure. I'm team whatever's the quickest one to grab because team team first chest yes, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Yeah, he, maybe you know he thinks there's some some mushroom some mushroom house strats, but uh, it's totally random um, what you're gonna get. So. Trust me, I know. I tested it last season extensively. <laughs> so for open, having a good fire kill there. Trash Panda having to do some stomps. Gets the kill as well. Why do they make the Toad House? To try to get the leaf from that Toad House. Because if you use that, that leaf in 6-8, you get a point. Or is it why did Nintendo make the, the Toad Houses? So yeah, we get to see both runners here. Play 2-1, probably go back, do the end card. Got, got a tough uh, fire chain pattern there, so a little too close. Yep. I have to say, that's probably the most common way that I do mess up 2-1 is probably the fire chomp there. Yeah, I changed what I do to do really small hops. It's interesting, he gets the 10 right away there. Hmm. It's it's strange that every runner is clearing the card. I'm not really, I'm not a fan of this because I don't know exactly what I would do, but I think I would only go for the fire flowers, and if I'm there, the stars, anyways, and that's it. That's all I'd go for. Yeah, you really only need the stars, right? Because you don't get the the one star. On that's that right. Normally would. Mm -hmm. From world three. And if you're going to use a star in 4F1, which I think is a good idea, you'd want to get two, so. But with that being said, you could also substitute a fire flower for one of the stars since, you know, seven, two, fire flower, star, essentially the same. Yeah, Tra Trash Pan again, uh, a better P-Speed build there and making the jump over the Thwomp, that is actually tough, believe it or not. I'm surprised he made that. I'm not. Trash Pan is amazing. 
I knew he added it in him. <laughs> I mean, the jump's possible, but like in my experience, he must have known, man. Maybe he just waited to go up a little higher before he pressed right. He probably knew. He's probably made that mistake, you know. Oh, lot. most most definitely, yeah. It, it, that that mistake and like fixing it with what he did, it was simply like reaction time, right? If you wait too long, you won't get height on your jump, and you'll get yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Red rocket and backwards, bro. Very nice. So yeah, starting to get some points here rolling in this one. Redemption, man. He didn't get it last time. Come on, Trash Panda. You got this, bud. Yeah, look at that. Keeping P speed this time, so didn't have to rebuild. But does land on there. Does not get screwed over by lag and gets the red rocket. God, that so. leg is just so thick through there. <laughs> it's just so... The game is running definitely at like 6 FPS. It's like... You know, trying to take the ice cream scooper into the frozen ice cream before it's melted a little bit, right? I mean, That's I know what Mario you're talking about, but I really don't see how it's like that at all. <laughs> That's Mario <laughs> trying to move, right? Like, he can't. He's the I, ice cream scooper. I guess so. All right. <laughs> Good analogy. On, I like man. it. I like it. No, I, I know that experience, ice cream scooper. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I feel, I feel like a better analogy would be like, you know, when you're trying to run in your dreams and it's like you're in like, you know, slow-mo. More like that, I think. Ice cream scooper. Ice cream. I love it. I love it. I, I don't know. I was thinking about ice cream, you know? It's whatever. Ice, ice cream's pretty it's dope. Good. Speaking of ice cream, guys, it's a good time for ice cream. This stream, this stream is sponsored by Kemp's. Yeah, unfortunately, for Open's not going to get that RNG. Trash Panda has a chance to get a point here. And does not. Ooh, the bros in World 2. Definitely stingy on the points in this one, so. Yeah, somebody's got to take Haxer over ice cream after this race. He's getting a little fussy. <laughs> a little fussy thinking about ice cream. <laughs> Don't worry, your mom's got to handle. Hey, come on. Not on my stream, all right? <laughs> Come on, not any, not here, okay? I'm gonna have to disconnect you again. <laughs> not in front of all my friends, okay? Yeah, yeah, not on my stream. Do it in your own stream, you know. <laughs> Trash Panda there with the uh, the classic end of the pyramid, not ducking under the the column. The or yeah, the favorite yeah. time yeah. loss. I hate that. Oh, man, that, that happens that not a single person in the Mario 3 community does that ever not happen to. Yep. <laughs> and then if you miss it again, you have to wait for the plan. <laughs> like he did. Yeah, it's rough, man. That's I. That's the, one of my most annoyed mistakes. So, not getting throne jump for Trash Panda. He did get World 1 throne jump, so he's out of the throne jump game. Um, both runners getting the red rocket. Very nice. Both yeah. runners are tied. They are tied. <clears throat> no throne jumps in this one. So, still waiting on that point uh, to happen. That's the point. last thing that needs to be achieved, other than sub 53, right? It goes 4 3 2 1, I'm pretty sure, right? Has a uh, 6 F. Three has that been done again? Yep. Guess who got it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, you know who did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He got in his first race today. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. <laughs> Ibuba is—he's just a champion at that clip. He's got Tom Brady's golden horseshoe. Uh, for open, got one bat, one backwards, one forwards. Yeah. Yep. The uh, world two bros weren't nice in uh, this race. Either runner getting it, either race. So. Oh. So close to coin ship for open. 
Yeah, his his point total is great for this though. He'll never have to worry about it because he'll never get ten points unless he makes a mistake in three three. But he'll if that happens, he'll have more coins, so he'll, he'll never have to worry about it here. It's pretty good. Yeah, if he because he'll never fight the Hammer Brothers. But if he did, the most common one would be getting two two bricks and then coins from these levels sixty six. But odds are most likely yeah. he would hit the seventy seven. Now, did Trash Panda get that frame jump? I don't think he did, but if he did, he would get that point. I don't think he got that frame jump. Neither runner is believing in the uh, the frame jump in this one, I guess, you know? Gotta practice some frame jumps. Maybe you can get the metronome out and help you with the frame jumps. Ooh, I don't think he meant to snipe that Koopa when he did. I feel like he meant to do that after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he jumped off of him. But uh, nice job not taking damage. So I believe that point is still available for him. Or both runners, actually. So I don't recall either runner taking damage yet in World 2 or 3. So. Oh, and getting some unfortunate RNG there. Taking so. a risk. Um, yeah, definitely, um, oh, I, that's, that's tough, man. That's rare for that bro to ever move there. Um, gets door four though, so. Oh, and just like that, we hear, we hear the metronome. Yep. Going for the metronome. He's got to stand equal with the door though. Oh, nice try, Ooh. Trash Panda. Hey, even though he got door for it's still bad, okay? I'll stand by that statement. And yeah, this is the problem right here, so... Took a risk, though. Um, not, yeah. So he's just gonna sacrifice the point. So not too big of a deal. Um, does get door four, so that bolsters uh, his point total a little bit. So he's not really gonna miss that that star too much, that star point. But <laughs> doesn't get eaten by the bass. The other thing it does is it does set him up for, you know, an even potentially faster run than last run too, so. Um, yeah, like a standard warpless run. Mm -hmm. Especially hitting, you know, door four on top of it, so saved a significant amount of time over last run, but he does then miss the H jump, so. Pretty good recovery, however. Just gotta point out that Trash Panda is doing much better in his race too. He's he, the gap between them right now is not big, and uh, yep. they have very similar points. But Feropen did get the star, so he's not gonna get that point in World Six as long as Trash Panda get lucky. So they're technically still tied. No lifelines used from either runner, and they're both very close to getting one extra point for not taking damage. I don't think either runner took damage in World Two. Yeah, I no. don't think so. No, nope. so they're good. 69 coins, Yeah, though. I mean, he's, he's only had the one death, you know, in between last run and this run. Like, last and last run's death was definitely... It's kind of like one of those fluke deaths that happens very infrequent, so... <gasps> That's right, Trash Panda did hit oh, the Fire did. Snake in 2-1. That is correct, yes. Good job, Teeks. Eating dinner gave him extra brain power. Dinner! Then he should have definitely eat dinner before those 6-9 wall jump attempts, am I right? Got him. Am I right, guys? Am I right?
You know, I gotta give him a little bit of a little bit of trouble, you know, with the wall jumps. He knows how much I like the wall jumps, so you know, every time you get them first try, you please me. And when you don't, I mean, I, I'm still it's I'm still okay with it, but like not as happy, you know. I lost fire fire for That's a point. Right into another potential point here in 401. Ooh, running right into Wendy there. So, <gasps> oh boy, getting scary. Okay. All right, just be cautious. Be cautious. Yep, just taking it nice and easy here. Good stuff. Clenching, man. Clenching. That was too scary. Nah, he knew he was doing. Yeah, he had it. He had it. Thick, jank Wendy. That's the best way to describe. Yep. Yeah. And for open, getting the P speed here. So, um. Hopefully, TP can adjust a little bit in 4 1 here from last run because he did take damage on that first Koopa after the waterfall section. So, doesn't have that additional power up at his disposal. Now, he could go into his inventory. Take Maybe a look inside. Yeah, you know, take a little peek in there, which, yep. uh, hey, look at that. You know, he's listening to the stream, obviously. Bam. Hey, I got a mushroom. Oh, the, the oh, up, the up input. Yeah. Um, but the trick is, all you have to do is hold A if you want to get a jump out of there. That's it. So that was definitely in between his swims. All right. You should do like a double tap yep. and then just hold A the whole time. And you'll always get the jump out of there. You'll never miss it. Yep. Tried to fix it. Yep. That's the Myba strat. For, uh, for open there. I don't know. That's still frightening. I don't know why to turn back and killing that. Feels uh, like it's easier to duck jump past it. Well, yeah, the duck jump is easier, but the duck jump is actually a lot closer than we think it is. You don't have much room, so I, I, I can understand that, but That's I still true. wouldn't go for it either. Why you guys got to fight right now? Come on, get out of here, you little frigs. And uh, not getting peace to be at top of 4-4 four, four again, but it's going to get the, uh, the super duper swim right here. Very yeah. nice for Trash Panda. Yeah, the 4-3 uh, the right there. The correct way. Is going to have to play this thing. This beast. Oh, it's a beast. Oh, just jumped a little early. Almost at it. And for opens, one jump away here. In there. So. I don't know about you guys, but looking at the tightness of uh, for open strategy, it seems like either the runners who have put up times and score in the past need to clean up a little bit and get a couple more points, maybe get a little bit more lucky, or we're gonna have to really hope on Propen being on an off day here because he is really consistent right now with his points. It's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, who knows? I mean, you know, it, when he, you know, makes it later in the tournament, the runners keep getting better and better that exactly. you're playing against, so, you know, Pressure even, matters. Yeah, even Teeks right now, he's saying he's got him sweating a little bit. I, I'd be sweating a little bit too, to be honest. If somebody's throwing down sub 54s, 22 points. First game too, this is his first game, first match. However, he has had longer to practice and he's also had the opportunity to watch others and adapt. So that's the benefit of winning mm -hmm. the season and coming back, right? He wants to take Booba's throne. You already asked that question, just tell us what they say. That's what Can't I want to see from Trash Panda. The, uh, 
Yeah, he uh, went for it again, but this time it worked out. So slow, but uh, but effective here. So just don't forget the duck here at the end. Okay, he's just gonna. <laughs> he he remembered last. Oh my god. Yeah. He gets it. The top tier uh, four six duck strats there. Trying to figure out what to do with the bros. Trying to figure out which one this is. Um, ooh, taking some damage there. Not gonna matter, but... Oh, that was the, the edge star. he had. He had that edge on for open. He did. Now he's gonna get double punch, so... Yep, slight miscue there. Should've... Should have definitely used one of his music boxes, but not too big of a deal. <laughs> I like that joke. When I heard my toaster wasn't water resistant, I was shocked. I love that joke. See, Haxer, why can't you come up with nice jokes like that? Why do, they, why do all your jokes got to revolve around mine and everyone else's mother? Um... Bitch. <laughs> that's a nice joke? Toasters and bathtubs? Or, that's a nice joke? <laughs> Mitch? Hello? What? What do you want? Yeah, are, are, you, are you still there? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Oh, I'm here. All right. Here we go. World 5, baby! Veropen could actually definitely use a warp whistle, and you'd have to... That would really only be like a, I don't know, eight, eight second time loss. True. Or we could just end the run there, because it wouldn't be warpless anymore. It's true. That'd be an awkward situation. That's not one we've we've had last season. Mars used the warp whistle, if you remember, and yeah, you just have yep. them get back to where they got. Um... This is kind of the one point I think is a bit of a hole for him. I don't like. I don't think I like the fire strat here. Too many turnbacks um, have to be done. It seems like. Not only that, but like, I mean, the fire flower is the so... Slowdown. Yeah. And he's hitting the pipe at the no. 283 instead of the 284, giving it, like, right here, he... Yep. He did it again! <laughs> yep. <laughs> Two times. He's not gonna get it, that's rough. 99 coins, too. But the point hole. Alright. Oh, the point total. It's the savior, the protector. If everything goes cracked, he's not gonna hit any blocks until he fights a hammer bro, so. Oh, by then he's way, yeah, by then he might have wrapped around all the way close to 11 at that point. Yeah. No moving to four yet. I feel like that double mushroom in his inventory confused like his eyes there. He's like, where's my items? I just see mushrooms. <laughs> yeah. That's the other thing with all the extra stuff in there is like, you know. Very cluttery. Trash Panda getting through the yeah. worst and longest auto scroller, unfortunately. Not longest, but worst. The slowest I, in terms of moving, I guess. It's not even, it doesn't even get an award for anything, except just being bad. It's not the longest. It's not the largest. I, what? It's like... It's not the worst, right? The because 7-4 is worse than it. Yeah, I, it's not even the, yeah, it's just... Imagine being s bad, so bad that you're not even the worst. <laughs> Alright, here we go. He's got it. Very nice. This run has been crazy. Trash Panda is going to get the 282. No, he's going to stay on the top. Very nice. Um, 
That's a strategy we've seen used earlier in the tournament where if you feel like you're behind in time, there's no point in getting that point. You, you want to make sure you don't get those those high high time losses. So Runners will make the decisions that they feel most comfortable with, and that's what you got to deal with, right? That's how it is. That's what makes these exciting. I can't believe I've, I haven't seen anybody die on that. No, I... No, I haven't seen anybody die in that jump at the at the end of five four. Like I've seen a couple. Yep, we've had a couple for sure. We we today we had two players die in the exact same spot synced in five four, but not at the jump. Okay. Yep, they both died. Yeah, at the same I've seen time. people die in five four, but not at that jump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Movement support for Trash Panda. Still no movement support for Broken. Can't be getting that point. He did get early P speed. Um, so Trash Panda is going to have to clutch out the early P speed of 5 5 to take that point away from him. That was a good point, but he's got to get the, f the 5 4 point first. You know. Got to keep pace. Ooh, taking some damage there. That's why I'm really fond of the duck jump over that part. You know, you really don't have to, but I mean, I've I've been doing that for a long time. The duck jump there has been very comfortable for me. Yeah, I think I think I duck there. I don't remember. I just press buttons. I don't really think. Which gets you in trouble at the nice. end of World 7 sometimes when you accidentally equip a star. So, but, uh, does get that point. So, it's gonna be a little trickier for him than last time to get the P speed here, but, um, no, I use the star. Never mind. This, you know, he's got this. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Very and nice. he gets the quick grab too. And, oh, he keeps it. He keeps it. Keep it. Nice. Nice. Look at that. The speed. The speed. Unbelievable the agility, the power. Fast. <laughs> what you want at that point for open? Denied. Denied. That's what happened. And again, for going the fire flower, knowing that, hey, if I don't ever have it, I can't get punished. That's right, and that's um, that's what I have very. That's what I've really liked to see near the end of uh, round one. What some runners were doing. I think that first person I saw do it was Alice, um, with five five P speed, the early P speed with the with the rub and the star. And before that, most runners were just trying to do the traditional get five five and just just yeah. And, and there was no point for the stress. And then. And then later on, seeing nobody get Fire Flower in World 5 at all, and it was just like, yeah, why not? You lose, you know, probably a solid, what, four seconds or something from one Boom Boom kill? Mm -hmm. Right? Boom Boom kill and yep. a couple other things here and there. But yeah, no, it's a good idea. Okay, Haxer, it's a good idea. It is. I mean, you know, for, for Open, he only saves six seconds throughout this world, really. I mean, well, maybe a little more. Well, no, if you're grabbing on the airship, it's, it should only be six, so. Uh -huh. So, let's see here. Yeah, I didn't get yeah, pretty rough World 5 for, for Open. Not the way he, uh, World 5 worked out for him last time. Yeah, he hasn't had as much luck with the RNG points because he didn't get the, uh, the leaf in World 1 this time either, so. And, um, yeah, also missing out on the star point as well, based on what the Hammer Bros did to him in World 3. So, seemed like he was a little unprepared for that, um, actually. So mm -hmm. maybe it's something he hadn't had happen in practice yet, which is totally possible, because, you know, as I mentioned, that bro normally doesn't move there. The good news for, you know, people that have bad RNG is when you practice and you get bad RNG, you'll see stuff like that, so you'll be prepared for it. 
So right. that is one benefit of having it. No, yep. and I th I'm pretty sure he got low pattern as his first pattern. If anyone has to, uh, to tell me different, I'd be very interested, but I'm pretty sure it was low pattern. Hammer Bros get low, so let's, uh, hopefully, let's Trash Panda could keep this flower this time, you know? Close the coin ship for, um, for open here. Close the coin ship, and, uh, he's only hitting blocks in this level, so this is an uncomfortable, uh, position here. He only needs yeah. to get, what, how many? So you only break two, um, in this level, so he should be fine. Okay, um, okay. But, he unless does he does have the tail swipe. Attention. Okay, yeah, he does have to pay attention in the uh, bro fight, for sure, because he's not going to get any coins, so. It's weird how easy it is to not notice coin shifts when the information is displayed right there in front of you, right? I know, I know, you gotta, ooh. So if he gets does low he pattern, bros? which he does, he might only hit one block here, and so far he has... <gasps> Oh no! Oh, there it get... is. If they have, oh man, coin could ship. Into... Oh, it oh. didn't move into him. Wait, he's so confused right now. Look at him. Damn! Like, oh, no. Talking about how those coin ships creep up on you like that, guys. That is what happens. Nice trash panda finishing up world five. Yes. Let's go, trash panda. Get some nope. more points, buddy. You know what that was? I know what that was. That had... that's never happened to him there. I, I guarantee that's never happened to him there. So, like, he's never considered that that's even possible after playing that level. Well, I wonder, too, if he was like, crap, did I get the cloud? I think I did. And then he just went on, I think. Um, but he got two low patterns, so not a good World 6 and 5 so far for Feropen. Um, Trash Panda got low pattern there as well. So Trash Panda's going to need to get a high pattern. Unless Trash Panda got low pattern. Or, sorry, high pattern. But I think he got low as well. I can't believe the coin ship didn't move into him. That would have been pretty like, pog. <laughs> you know, that would have made this race pretty close, actually. Yeah. Um, but yeah, once again, Tampa is a liar, and you know. I think I need to clarify to Feropen that he doesn't have to use his lifeline on his first race, because he definitely just used his lifeline. Oh, yeah. He might think you have to like, use it, like, once a race or something. Something like that, yeah. So he doesn't get the wall jump first try there, misses the A-press. Has to work on his Mario 1 game. A little bit. For open uses lifeline language barrier. When I talk to him, he says he's really good at uh, reading English. He just doesn't speak much English. Um, and I said, okay, because I asked if he wanted a translator and stuff. He said he was fine. Um, but the lifeline thing is very possible to have confused them. I will ask him later. Um, and then, yeah, we'll determine that after. Ooh, the turn back strat. That seems to be a strat. I know you were confused about that last race. Yeah. I'm not sure why he does that, because that can only really hurt you there, right? I mean, I'm not crazy there. Like, that's... It can only slow you down, because you want to make sure you have that max P speed, right? Yeah, though, the Feropen not using his lifeline. If Trash Panda used his lifeline here, he's still, like, in a... Whoa, what? Where'd the turtle go? Despawned it, there it so... Is. Oh, there no. It is. He's stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh look nice. at that. He knew. He knew. Yeah, That's I like that. Good. I like that. Um, but Trash Panda needs to get a um, high pattern here to get the high-low. And get, gain more points. And for Ropin, nothing in World 6 and 1 in World 5. Very, very low. Um, from Game 1 compared to Game 2. That, that's incredible. That just yep. goes to show how much room there is here, guys. And Trash Panda does get low patterns. So he did get high and low. Unless somebody has otherwise. Um, yeah, just imagine, you know, if this was Race 1 instead. Right? This matchup, we kind of have a different outlook. Exactly. Got the hammer suit, very nice. Oh, he's going for the other hammer, brother. 
He gets high, so regardless, he got it. And he already got the star, bro, so he's not losing a point. He got a star, bro, in World 4, so... Yep, yep. There you go, so he gets the high and low. Maybe, I guess he got two lows and then went for the high. Very nice. Trash Panda on his game. I love to see how he's still in it, right? He's still trying. He's still trying to collect. All goes towards that career total. For open, he goes so, for the um, guaranteed subpixel zero instead of the guaranteed subpixel 15. Very interesting. I like that. Doing the scary underfly, always. Oh, yeah. He, he might have used Lifeline because of Coinship. I'm not sure. Regardless, he did use his Lifeline, so it is used. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, but I will I will message him later and ask him about it. He'll probably say whatever. You know, it's one point. It's a Lifeline. I don't, most people don't take the Lifelines hugely serious, and they haven't actually okay. done a massive swing yet. Um, but they are still useful in terms of points, so it's it's a whatever thing. It's a little spice. Always got to add a little spice. Keeps, uh... Jumping a little late there on that clip. And TP remembering to take damage this time, so less of a savage this this go around. I I mean he should have just done his big Mario, you know? He did it past his big Mario. Oh, getting stuck in between the two blocks there. Yeah, getting stuck in the uh, baby jail up top. Yeah. Oh my god, for open still getting coin ships all over the place. This would actually tie them up in points if Trash Panda got this clip. Just remember that, guys. All I gotta do is jump and pray. That was a pretty big jump there. <laughs> too thick, too thick. No, Fropen did not get an opponent during round one. So this is Fropen's first match, game two. Quick little turn back there. He has enough time, though. Yeah, those don't, you know. He's got two now, though. Ah, oh, that's that's not enough. You get a pretty solid 293. Yeah, it's like half. Yeah. 293.5, I'd say. Very nice. Yep, yep. See, I still think Maybe it's a little faster... Time using the P-Wing in the pipe transition, because you get that little boost of P-Speed. But maybe not. I don't think it's that much of, a, of an importance. Probably doesn't matter too much, but... Getting up there, 193. So we should be good. I think the Piranha Plant should turn into coin ships. That's right. All right, so he... So he does subpixel manipulation as if he beats the level, then goes into the pipe and comes back out so he can get it. It's a very weird, interesting thing, though. I can't say that I dislike it. It's very interesting, right? And he's going to go for duck Apparently. clip here. No stand clip? Subpixel 15. Oh, maybe subpixel 15 from a level gives you first try. Okay, yeah. okay. I Potentially. see. Yep. Okay, I see. It probably does. It's probably the same as 7-1, maybe. I'm not sure. Is that the same distance? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, he did it in game one. It's a very interesting way of getting an easier subpixel. Um, but really, the subpixel manipulation for that fortress is not, uh, it's not that bad. You just have to... Oh, he went for it. Very nice. That's the strat that you and I... Um, had decided that if we were going to do it this way, that's what we would do. Yeah. Very nice. All right, Trash Panda in World 7. Let's go, bud. Let's go. All right, here we go, Trash Panda. Get a first try. Come on, do it. Oh, nice try. Second try, though. Very nice. Uh, first retry.
Oh, going for the, yeah, the bottom plant snipe. Trying to give him the, the task wiggles. Someone banned this man. Very nice. Getting the Kobe again! The double! Dropping 82 on the no boom bumps. No bumps. Uh, that had to have been a mistake, right? What? No, I've oh, seen Trash Panda do this before. Maybe. Yeah, he's doing this. Yeah, he does. What? He clipped there. Oh. oh, he kept holding down. Oh, Trash Panda does that. That's right. He clipped there the second time, but he he continues that he keeps holding down so it, he doesn't stand up and clip. Yeah. You should definitely relate. I remember when you were getting into the clips and speedrunning, the down inputs were like your biggest thing. There we go, nice. I don't know, that was like 10 million years ago. Just before I became an old man with a beard. Panda not getting punished. You love to see it. Boom. Nah, the bottom of seven two is not unique enough to the point where it's where you should be awarding those kinds of points when you think about it. Because like when you create points, you have to create points that are gonna make people have to really think about where they want to do things, as opposed to just like. Right? We already have one that's like MFP Tunnel. Everyone's gonna go for it, obviously. Why wouldn't they? It's just useless. Like, there's no point not to go for it, right? So you try not to create too many points like that in the tournament. So then it just gets stale. Everyone just goes for the same thing, and it's... Right? There's no unique development of strats. He should be able to get this! Ooh, nice. Very nice. Looks like he's probably set up pretty well. Nice! Boom! East as F. Trash Panda also using his lifeline. I mean... 12 to 13 right now. It's, it's pretty nice. They know the score from the first game, that's right. So Feropen is not in 54 range this time around, is he? Yeah, he should be he should be sub 54 pace again, but it does depend on the hands. If he gets three. Is there a technical reason why hammers don't affect people? Kids probably at first they did, and the game didn't know how to process it. The game probably just broke, just like exploded. Well, so the thing is, ooh, trap hands it. Oh, if he takes damage, what is he doing? If he takes damage there, he's soft locked. You know how when you hit him with the last two fireballs, <laughs> he he'll again. just he'll soft lock the game if you hit him on the same frame, the last two, right? Like. 10, 10, 11, basically, so you overkill him. Mm -hmm. I bet when they were doing the hammer suit and testing on the Koopa kids, I bet they were overkilling and soft blocking all the time. That's probably why. Yeah, well, he... well, no, be... what? He clipped that block and it didn't give him the fire flower. That was weird. No, doesn't the game register you as killing the Koopa kid, but he's still alive? So the time stops. No, it, it's straight up like, well, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah you hit him, he falls, yeah, he falls through well, the map, right? Yeah, well, I'm assuming it's because like overkilling such a problem with the hammer suit. Like essentially when you get that soft lock, it's because you overkilled the Koopa Kid like you overkill a Boom Boom. 
Yeah, no, okay, no. What's being said is that why don't you just wait out the time if that happens? And it's because you can't oh, because yeah, he goes off yeah, screen, but right. the game thinks you've killed him, so the time stops. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's the one you're talking about, right? Where he falls off the screen and he disappears yep. and he can't do anything. Yeah, you can't... You can't wait for the time to run out. The time stops. Like, your, your run's just over. <laughs> I can tell you must have never done that. Because... <laughs> if you did, you'd know. <laughs> Definitely, you'd remember. I've done it before. I've seen Teeks do it before as well. I just don't really oh, remember. No, I was talking to Fellow. Yeah. I don't think Fellow oh. must not have had it happen before. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. You, you, know, you, you would don't know. forget if it happens. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of BS. That's really messed up. Uh, I don't think that Trash Panda got bumps here. So these runners are actually tied in points right now. 13 to 13, both use their lifeline. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, if this was race one, I mean, man. TP definitely playing a lot better this race. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. It's playing very well. And for open, uh, definitely playing worse, but not too much worse, but a little worse. He, I, I don't know if he's physically playing worse, but he is definitely not cleaning up as many points as last time. Yeah. Well, he didn't get RNG points, but I I just count it as like worse because he got the coin ship. Because that's you know you can you can prevent that. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. You know, that's something that shouldn't happen to you. One more for the three. No, nobody wants all three hands. Ah, oh, it hurts so much to see that. I. I don't know if he can get sub-54 now. It's really close. Trash Panda's got about 11 minutes to get through this world. Not too bad, not too bad. Let's just go ahead and recap. Like, yeah. I think we did all the points proper for Faropen. It seems so low compared to his last one. Um, but yeah, it looks... Yeah, well, he got two more... RNG points. Well, three, and then he got wall jump last time. He didn't this time, and then also he didn't get a coin ship last time. Mm -hmm. It was this world five and six where he's where he kind of ran out of steam a bit. Yep. He needs to finish the air force in the forty-nine minute mark to get sub fifty-four pace. Okay. Yeah, I don't know these yeah, things. Yeah, the 49s. I don't... Yeah, I, it seemed to me he was, he's going to be a little short based on... I, I do the math from when he leaves the last world, but... It's weird. I have personal reference points all throughout the run, much like every other runner, right? Every runner has got their own little, oh, when I beat this level, or oh, when I go in this fight, but I don't have any in World 8. None. I don't use any in World 8. It's weird. Well, it's because you only know, like, do I add 20 seconds? Do I remove? <laughs> yeah, the hands, hands are really the only thing, but, like, that's just, like, yeah, the adding 20. I've got no, like, oh, if I enter this pipe, I'm on this time kind of thing. Very nice, 289. That's what he needs. Does get the first Oof. half of that. Almost gets Wrangless, very nice. That's the sun kill. Oof. He almost died nice. there. Home three. 292, very nice. Yeah, the, f the first turn back was weird to the block, right? Mm-hmm.
again. He definitely duck jumps and does a small jump there, for sure. That conveyor P-Speed is very interesting, but he does get it. Very nice. Yep, he has a way of doing it. And, uh, you know, he has no time for pressing the A button there. Just takes out everything in his path. Yeah. yeah if anyone wondering, Trash Panda going down one point, marking him down for second place uh, at this point. So what does your time tell you now, Teeks? Is it we sub 54 pace? No. Um, yeah, definitely not. And this, it's because this, the uh, tank. Yeah, how long is the... over? Yeah, it's like I think it's like a minute fifteen ish, minute ten somewhere in there. Right on. So you gotta be like, you gotta leave the fort like a minute twenty five or a minute twenty or something. Boop. Tank oh, is really one close. minute and ten seconds from. Well, that was a weird death from then. Uh, from what? As soon as your your sprite lands on it, or as soon as you enter inside of it, or what's when's the one ten timer start? Uh, the answer to your question is yes. Yes. Uh, it's it should be when you land on it, yeah. When you move your sprite over it, yeah. When you look during the entering yeah, transition, yeah. yeah. You look at your timer. That's that's what I yeah that's what I was time from. I don't wait for the because yeah when the level starts you're looking at the game. <laughs> Very nice yeah, he's gonna be panda. about 15 seconds short. It looks like. Remember a long time ago when basement basement route for Bowser's Castle saved over five seconds? Yeah, the good old days. Good old days. <laughs> it's like a two-second time save. What? what? Well, for what the any percent no wrong warp. Oh yeah. It's like 2.8 seconds save. Oh, okay. A weird Bowser kill, but he does get it. And SK is saying a 54-15. Nice. Trash Panda done really? all of his auto scrollers and all of his all of his all the crap. Why does it save less than with the hammer suit? Because the hammer suit takes longer, doesn't it? 54-14. Why does what save less? I said Why any percent no wrong one? warp. Yeah. Oh, because I you you're accounting for the menuing, that's right. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah, because not using your star in any percent of yeah. wrong warp altogether is just right. straight up faster. Right, okay. He got it, a 50, 54-14. SK was right. GG's, guys. Guys, for open, give for open a GG. Getting through there. Excuse me. Drink my water. Wait, I saw 54-15 I saw from SK and then 54-13. Ooh, SK making up numbers? Someone. SK, SK, hello? You can't guess every number. Oh no, come uh, on, get your P-Speed back, Trash, come on. He needs the 291. He gets it, very nice. Very nice for dude, Trash that's Panda. the easiest 291 I've ever seen in my life. Dude. Combo point, baby, combo my points. Stopped, took a sip of his two liter of Coke right there, had a bite of pizza and continued with that level. I think Trash Pan is the Dr. Pepper drinker, isn't he? Maybe Mr. Pib? Alright, you you just killed the meme. Alright, you know. I'm out. Peace. You're talking about that lame I beat Mario one and under whatever, yeah. Five minutes. And then did you watch his apology video or no? <laughs> no. Yeah, see you don't even keep up with the memes. Don't don't try and out meme me, okay? Alright, mister, I didn't even recognize the meme. Recognize. Oh, Trash Panda didn't get the, um, but he did get Conveyor P-Speed. Very nice. Sorry, guys. I, I had thought he got it. You better recognize. So 15 to 13 so far. Wow, what an insane race so far. But we got to make sure that Trash Panda 
Doesn't take a spill here. Nah, nothing has ever gone wrong from this point in the game. One time. For someone that wasn't Cujo. Well, in this tank, yeah. But I don't think Trash can... <laughs> well, if he takes damage and doesn't fire kill Bowser, I think he's still in the clear though, right? Bowser's like a minute and 30, I'm guessing, without fire kill. Right? I don't, I don't know how long it is. Uh, with fire kill? No, without fire from... kill. Like, if he enters Bowser's cast. Oh. Well, he has a hammer suit, actually. Should be, it should be, yeah, he's got a hammer suit. But even without fire, it should be, like, 125-ish. I think it kind of depends on how nice Bowser is with his jumps, of course, too. Well, no fire kill loses extra time because you try to fire kill before breaking, so it's it's more time loss. Oh yeah, if you lose fire actual... right at the yeah. Yeah, so it's actually twenty five should be the difference roughly, but again, it depends on Bowser RNG with the, when he decides to jump as well. He got the hammer suit. I wonder why he's not using it. Didn't Might he? Have he, he got it from the mushroom head, didn't he? I, or I could be wrong. I thought he did. He did last race for sure, but I'm not sure. I could have sworn he did this race because he went to the Mushroom House and then the Hammer Brothers woke up. Oh, he's getting Karuid. Yeah, Trash Panda definitely struggles a little bit with the duck inputs, which is not surprising. That's one of the... Well, it's a big curve in speedrunning. Uh, duck down inputs and up inputs when you have to do them fast are a pretty big curve at first. Ooh, he doesn't know, man. This you just the ceiling bonk there. That's all I gotta do. And yeah, that's right. He does the psycho shit. I forgot. Oh my, what? How did he not take damage? Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> oh no! He got me, dude. He got and me. And then he takes the damage. Yeah, that's something. If you've never been in that situation, you, you don't know. But yeah, if you're if you keep running left from Bowser, he just keeps going with you. Oh yeah, he, he, he he's like a lack to. He's in there. Yeah, you actually have to run when he jumps, you run towards him. Unfortunately, the but first that... stomp that Bowser did is not enough. He still needs to have an additional stomp. Yep. Very nice. Oh, yeah, what? Was, and then you got the awesome. upside down instantly. Unless that's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Very nice run, guys. Give a GG out to Trash Panda being a great sport and having a good time uh, for the race. Still putting up some points. Very close in points for race two. Uh, 15 to 13. I just like the way TP played because he's an animal, man. Like TP big Mario wall man. jump. Big yeah, big Mario wall jump. The, like jumping on Bowser's head to fire kill. I mean, the guy is just zero zero Fs given, honestly. Love it. Uh what's the total here? What do we got? Um 22 plus 15 and 7 plus 13. So 20, and then, what was it? 22 plus 15? Ooh, 37, very nice. 37, yeah. 20. 37 and 19, right? Uh, oh, 20, yeah. 20. Yeah, 13, yeah. Sorry, it says 12. Yeah, yeah, dude, that gets me, that, that gets me all the time. But that is such a crazy swing for uh, Furrow. 22 points, game one, 15 points, game two. That's a big difference in points. Yeah, it is. But I mean, again, he got none of the RNG points. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think he, yeah, he didn't get any of them. 
No, he like, got some. He, got he messed. Me. He messed up a good chunk of skill points as well. Um, he did. He, messed he up did. Two eighty-two uh, twice. Uh, he he didn't. Well, he didn't get the movements of four point. Um, and yep. I just mean like he he didn't get a lot of RNG points even in the first race, but like he didn't get any. I don't think in the second. Like I don't think he got a single RNG point. Let's see. Um. Uh, no, he didn't get any RNG points. I don't think so. So, yeah. little, little unlucky, but also, yeah, definitely not quite as clean either.